I want to share one of the most fascinating studies on the power of epigenetics. It's called the Dutch Hunger Winter Study. In World War II, pregnant women were exposed to a devastating famine that killed tens of thousands of people. The results were shocking. The children they gave birth to had higher rates of metabolic disorders, cardiovascular disease, and even mental health issues, even though they weren't directly exposed to the famine. Here's what's incredible. The results didn't stop there. The grandchildren of those women, even though they weren't exposed to the famine at all, also showed a higher risk for similar health issues. What does this mean? It's epigenetics at work. How environmental factors like famine, trauma, and even stress can leave a mark on our genes, altering the way our genes are expressed while not changing the genetic code at all. And it's those epigenetic changes that are passed down from generation to generation. This study flips what we thought we knew about genetics. It shows that our experiences, our stress, and even the things that our parents and grandparents went through can literally reshape our biology and influence future generations. And most importantly, epigenetics shows us that we can change our family story and actually heal ourselves. Through our own choices, we can change our genetic expression. Research backs this because in a follow-up study, researchers found that the epigenetic changes of people who were in the famine weren't permanent. People who had better nutrition and healthier relationships actually showed a reversal in effects and had overall improved health. 